Hi, I'm Daniel. Welcome to my channel once again. I appreciate everyone that has subscribed into my channel. And if you're watching my video for the very first time, all you need to do is just subscribe on the button and click on the bell so you don't miss any video that I'll be uploading. Well, today I have a video for you about ghosts, how you can actually make a ghost out of your own self. And this tutorial is all about how the steps that I'll be using to go to do the entire video. And this is how I do it. Right into our Premiere Pro and we start off the editing. Now, I already have a clip now. The first tip that you want to put into place is you need to record your footage on a tripod so that your camera is stable. And as you can see, this is my clip right here. What I'll do is I'll take a screenshot of my footage here. I'll just go right here to the export frame and take a screenshot and make sure it is importing into the project. And I'll say OK. So immediately it exports into my input box. So my screenshot is here. And I'll just drag it on top of my footage. What I want is my screenshot to be just below my footage. So I'll just do the exchange. Take my screenshot just below my video. And put my video on top as you can see so this is my video so my screenshot is right below the next step I'll do is I'll click on my top footage then go to effects control and go to opacity make sure that I undo this so it's only here and then I'll take this and put it under 50 the opacity under 50 so as you can see, I already have something here that has come up. Okay. Remember the fact that I have my screenshot just below my video, it's possible to see just my footage moving. As you can see, that is it. Now, sometimes you might find difficulty in having your ghost image coming out well so usually you can go to the blend mode and try and play around with a few effects like lighten depending on depending where you shot your video from it will give you different aspects so sometimes you might use the screen sometimes you might use the darken sometimes you might use the soften or the soft light depending on where you shoot your footage from but as for me i'll just keep it in normal i find that my ghost effect comes out well okay i hope you enjoyed the video if you did enjoy the video please give me a thumbs up or you can also go in the comment section and give me put down your comments on what you think about the video remember if you're watching the video for the very first time Please subscribe and click on the bell so that you can be notified every time I have a new video out. That's it from me. Have a good day.